Hi friends, in today's video I'm going to be discussing 2024 summer trends. First I'm starting off with the trends I'll be skipping, then my maybes, and finally the ones I'll definitely be participating in. Let's get started. The first trend I'll be skipping are sporty sandals or sporty flats. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. I'm just gonna go with sporty sandals. I think it gives a nice juxtaposition to a stylish outfit. Again, it's that like low-key ugly shoe theory that works. Like. Girl, I'm obsessed with this outfit with like the vintage Bart shirt. Looks like a maxi skirt. I don't love the fringe. I just saw that. I didn't notice it beforehand. And her sporty Nike sandals. I think she looks pretty cool. I've been seeing these a ton online, so they're definitely gaining traction. I've also seen them with like the two-toe sort of situation. The only thing I'm afraid of with this trend is that it's going to develop into the toe shoes trend. I don't know how else to describe it. I'll put it on the screen, like I said. I think if you're self-aware that it looks ridiculous, it could work. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I think it's super funny. I can't get behind this trend. Next trend, I'm skipping our polo shirts simply because they don't fit with my personal style. A little too preppy. If it's worn in like a very Midwest emo sort of way, I might buy into it. Like I remember as a teen, I definitely had like a striped polo that I wore with like my skinny jeans and my Vans, like my choppy scene haircut, spiky belt. I slayed that at the time, so I don't know. This one might grow on me, but for now it's on my note list. Next trend I'll be skipping our boxer shorts, but specifically the boxer shorts with the white tag in the front. I don't know why I hate how this looks. I tried thinking about it, could not find an explanation. All I know is that when I get boxer shorts, they're not gonna have the white tag in the front. They're just gonna be plain. Next turn I'm skipping are tube tops and it's not because I don't like them. I think they look really cute, especially in a very like vintage sort of silhouette. I just simply can't get past the discomfort of having to pull up my top. I prefer something with more support straps, even if they're thinner straps, but I don't like the full on just like nothing there. Knowing me, I'm just gonna be doing this the whole time and I just can't. If that doesn't bother you, there's so many cute options and dresses and tops. I'm obsessed with this Paloma wool dress. Kind of sheer, but the shape is super cute. Next we have rhinestone ballet flats. Who thought of this? I can't make any excuses for this one. I just think it's straight up ugly. I'll put it in the same category as mesh flats. Just no. That's all I have to say about that. Last trend I'll be skipping are sambas or gazelles. I feel like at this point, if I haven't bought them, I'm never gonna buy them. Actually, it was my birthday this past weekend, and I finally invested in some sneakers that I think work for me, fit with my style. They're the New Balance 574s. I got them in black and gray because I thought they would match with everything, and so far, I really like them. It goes really cute with my outfit. I don't feel like fixing the camera, so I'm wearing my dickies. I wore these. And then this. There you go, OOTD. Anyway, and I know you might be like, those are just as popular as, maybe, but I feel like they fit my style better than the Sambas or the Gazelles. Moving on to my maybe, starting off with giant scrunchies. I love how these look on people, but especially when people have short hair. Ah. Like when they have like a tiny bun or a tiny little ponytail and then like a giant scrunchie. I think that looks really good. I'm obsessed with the like Sandy Lane one that looks like little petals. Look at this plaid one with the little lace kind of flowing down. Super cute. I'm not sure why I'm hesitant about this trend. I love a good hard and soft look. So I could certainly do like a very masculine fit and then pop on a really girly scrunchie. And I think that would be really cute. I think I have to look at different designs. I'll probably find one on Etsy. TBD on this one. Next on the maybe is cuff denim short. And I'm not surprised that these are coming back around. I feel like 2010s is coming back full force. Well, first is starting off with cuffing our jeans and I'm sure it's gonna move on to cuffing shorts. I'm not sure about this one. I haven't done it in years and years, but when I did it back in the day, I thought it was really cute, really flattering. The only thing with cuff shorts is I feel like they dig into my thighs more than when they're unrolled. So that's the only caveat with that. Let me know, will you be rolling up your shorts this summer? Are you gonna let the hem be? I'm very curious. Next on my list are drop waist silhouettes. I definitely love how this looks. I just think I really need to try it in store and I never see these styles like physically at a store. So I feel like I'm gonna have to order a piece with a silhouette that I like online, unfortunately. Maybe I'll try Urban Outfitters. 
we will see. My only hesitancy with this silhouette is that it might be unflattering on my body, but I don't know. I have a really long torso, so in my head I'm like, ooh, it's gonna put a lot of emphasis on my long torso and then make my legs look shorter while it's doing that. Maybe there's a way to balance it out. I'm obsessed with these examples, especially this blue one. Oh my god. And this polka dot version. I'm obsessed. I would wear this. And then this one from Reformation is super cute. Next we have denim dresses. I think this trend is inspired by the denim on denim trend that we've been seeing a bunch. Particularly I've seen dresses in darker denim, like this one from Urban and Levi's, Princess Polly. And I think this last one is from Zara. But anyway, I think they're super cute, very 90s, like minimalist. I'm unsure about this one. I like it and then it's just okay, so I think I need to sit on it for a little bit, probably for like a couple months. Maybe I'll find one at the thrift store that I could try. Apparently this last one was a huge controversy on TikTok. I don't know what's up with my algorithm because <laughs> all the videos I saw on tankinis were like, oh my god, I can't believe we're wearing tankinis now. I can't show off my six pack. No one's forcing you to wear a certain bathing suit style. You're free to wear your skimpy little bikini. No judgment. I don't know what that was about. On that note, this trend, the tankini bikini, I like how that rhymes. The trend is a maybe for me, only because I need to try it out before I can decide. But there's definitely a cute way of doing a tankini. My favorite are the sporty ones with like the little shorts and then the little tankini top, as well as the ones that are vintage inspired. Love those. Those are the kind of tankinis I would wear versus like the very like fast fashion-y Amazon versions. Might be nice to have that option when I'm feeling a little bloated on vacation or when I'm swimming or I feel like I want to be a little more modest for whatever reason that day. I think it's a great option, so we will see. Smi is still here by the way, I just got tired of holding him. Moving on to the trends I'll definitely be participating in, starting off with pleated skirts and that could be in any color, pattern, mini, midi, maxi, maybe not maxi, but mini and midi for me. Anyway, these skirts have honestly been a staple in my wardrobe for the past four years, coming on four years. My obsession with these skirts started with Zoe Kravitz. I don't know what show she was on, but it was this picture that did it all for me. They're cute, they're comfortable, you can really pair them with anything. My favorite ways of wearing them is with like a graphic tee, kind of loose button down sort of situation with Mary Janes and knee high boots and like I don't know, they're just super versatile. I recently found my favorite one, this skirt here from Abercrombie. It actually has shorts built in and it's booty friendly. Another one of my favorites is one that I thrifted that I swear is probably a school uniform, but it's like a green and gray plaid skirt. Obsessed. I believe this trend blew up even more because of Sandy Lang's designs and her homage to kind of like the schoolgirl sort of aesthetic. On that same note is pleated skirt dresses. I want one so bad. Oh my god. Like look at these pictures with the puffy sleeves, the pinafore version with like the sailor top. Oh my god. I love this model style. I don't know where her name is. I need to figure it out. I think it'd be cool to do like a recreating this model's looks on a average person. <laughs> Love the silhouette of this. I think it's super cute, adorable. You can certainly edge it up with like some combat boots or whatever. This is one that I'm looking out for, for sure. The next thing I'll be wearing are sporty shorts, but particularly sporty shorts paired with things you wouldn't normally pair them with. Mary Jane's longer boots, moto boots. Honestly, probably with my new balances as well, like casual days where I actually need to be comfortable. I found the perfect sporty shorts for me. I'm not a very like bright color sort of person, so these are perfect. These are thrifted and vintage, I'm pretty sure. They just fit me so well, I think that's what's most important. I love the tag that it has on the back here. So you guys could see that. I'm not a big neon person, but I thought it was a nice little pop of color. It has a little yellow Nike symbol. These will be my sporty shorts that I'll be wearing. The next thing I'll be wearing are halter tops, especially banty halter tops that I DIY myself, like in this little example here. I'm obsessed with the Ginnam one. Oh my God, I want it so bad. Free People has some really cute ones. I even found this leather one. Ugh. So cool, so sick. I could see myself wearing it, but it was like $300, so I need to find a dupe or something. I'm very picky when it comes to halter tops, so I don't like when the straps are like crisscross or the straps are super thin and just go here. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. Next thing I'll be wearing are sets. We are just going crazy over sets lately. A skirt and top, shorts and top, 
pants and top. I'm super annoyed because I've had this picture for years and years and I have not been able to find something similar, which makes me really sad. So I think it's time to move on and try to find a set that's actually available for me to buy. I'm obsessed with this red one here. This blue one's really cute. This white one's pretty, but it's a little too revealing in the front for me, but I still think it would look beautiful on someone else. I love sets too, because you could always interchange the pieces. Also, when you want just an easy outfit, it's already like set up for you. You know what I mean? You can't really go wrong with sets. The next trend I'm super happy about, and that's fisherman sandals, but particularly the Doc Martin fisherman sandals. My God, I've been lusting over the vintage version for years and years. They finally brought them back. I think I'll probably be investing in these. I think I need to try them on in store though, because if they're gonna hurt my feet, then I might go vintage. And they're great for people who don't like to show off their feet or toes. That's me. The next trend I find kind of interesting and that's the graphic tee revival. And I'm like, when did it ever die out? I literally never stopped. So it's just interesting that it's a trend for the summer. I wear graphic tees a couple times a week. They're just such an easy way to like insert your personality and taste into an outfit. I would however like more graphic tees that are not band tee related. Sometimes... I just don't want to tell people what I listen to. I just want to walk around and be a regular person. You know what I mean? Like this outfit here to die for. Minus the hat and the earrings. I would not wear that, but everything else I would. I like this one with the stars. This one with the Yoshimoro Nara graphic. So cute. But yeah, go crazy. Graphic tees, who would have thought? Next thing I'll be participating in is white dresses. And I know you might be like, uh, obviously they're always trending. <laughs> But the trending part comes in in the silhouette and what I've been noticing is that little white dresses are more popular in a, in a vintage sort of silhouette and style. So with like a lot of lace, kind of like that A-line sort of shape with like flouncy sleeves or dresses that kind of look like a nightgown or they look like you hunt your rich ex-husband after you've passed, that sort of thing. I die for all of these examples, they're so good. And I have my own little favorite white dress that I thrifted. I didn't thrift, I bought secondhand at like a vintage store. I don't remember where to be honest. Next trend I'll be participating in and I have been for the past couple summers are tiered skirts and it could be in any color, texture, whatever it may be. I think these are timeless. They're just so breezy and comfortable, easy to style. I'll be continuing to wear my tiered skirts over and over. Next trend I've been wearing and will continue to wear are cut off color tees. Why did I say that's so weird? Cut off collar tees, there we go. Simply, it's just when you cut this part of a t-shirt or sometimes you cut it a little wider and it becomes a little off the shoulder. Obsessed with this look. Very like 2010s indie sleeves. I love this look here with the ballet flats, mini shorts. And this one with like the frilly skirt, so cute. I'll never get sick of this style. And I kind of can't because half of my band tees are cut up that way. Next trend I'll be continuing to style is biker boots. I think this shoe is particularly perfect for summer. I love it paired with shorts, skirts, dresses. I'm gonna be wearing mine a ton this summer with like little socks peeking through. I still love biker boots. Not a micro trend for me personally. I've heard some slander that the next trend is done and that is cowboy boots. In my opinion, cowboy boots will always be trendy, especially for summer. You can't go wrong. So I'm gonna keep wearing mine that I've had for a couple years now. Brown ones that I got off eBay. I think they add a cute quirk to my outfits. So don't be getting rid of your cowboy boots or letting anyone make you feel like, I don't know, you're not trendy if you're wearing them this summer. The last trend on my list is socks with everything. And it could be ankle socks, quarter length socks, at the knee, above the knee. You get it, like socks with sandals, tennis shoes, boots, everything. I especially love when someone wears like a bright pop of color on their sock and the rest of their outfit is like kind of neutral. Love how that looks. Here we got Bella Hadid wearing socks and sandals and looking good while doing it. She's also wearing at the knee socks with heels, which I think is a sleigh. Except I don't like the Nike logo on the side. I feel like that kind of killed it a little bit. Like look at this person's outfit with their little sandals and red socks, adorable. Honestly, I don't know when this became a trend. I feel like it's been around for quite a while. Could it be timeless? I don't think we'll ever go back to our ankle length socks. At least I won't. I love fabric on my ankles. A little side note, Shez's socks sent me a bunch of their socks and they just came out with the frilly sock style that I'm obsessed with. I can't wait to wear these to death over the summer. 
Yeah, it's such a cute feminine touch. And bonus points, they keep you from getting blisters. Win-win situation. Let me know if you'd like a review on those on YouTube. I'm planning on filming one for Instagram and TikTok. I tested them out all day the other day. I was wearing them with my very uncomfortable loafers that I just bought and I did not get any blisters all day. So I really want to test them out with new Doc Martens, but I don't have any like uncomfy Doc Martens to, to test them out on. So kind of stuck anyway that is the end of my list all right guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i know it's a little early for summer trends but i love watching these ahead of time just for fun i feel like there's not enough of these videos out there yet or if they are they're not really aligned with my style and i feel like if you watch me you probably have similar style in mind or at least like it I hope. Let me know what summer trends you'll be participating in. I'm very curious. I want to know if my list is similar to your list. If there's anything you would like to add on. Like if you like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.